Alrighty. I've got to get out and about in a minute. Yeah. Do a bit of shit. Um, but, uh, just been thinking about uh, well, well, the man I'm always talking about, the main man. He's he sort of. I just sort of look looking at the uh, what he used to be and what he's become now. Um, once upon a time, I remember a guy who would go out and dress up as Elvis and walk the streets. Um, around tourist areas and he would meet other van dwellers and he would even interview other van dwellers then it got to the point of dressing up as Elvis walking around the local night spots dressed as Elvis uh, seemingly as some people he he sort of uh, started to become a little bit scared of some people um, and stuff like that never go into any of these uh, bars or anything like that um, but just walk around dressed as Elvis um, and then it sort of deteriorated into fat guy on the beach <coughs> and um, then it would be fat guy ranting in Walmart car park a lot, bagging out anyone and everyone and telling them everything that's wrong with them with one of his coffee times or, or whatever uh, but he'd be sitting there in the Walmart car park uh, usually with his little card table out uh, and sometimes there are a few cooking videos there and then it sort of devolved from that to sitting in his van on his uh, memory foam seat or whatever, seat slash bed, and uh, you know, ranting away uh, with all these uh, different talks. And then I don't know if the fucking battery was bad or the fucking light died in the ass. But then he got to the point of just sitting in the driver's seat <laughs> with a fucking one of these shitty ass bloody battery powered LED things pointing light underneath his face you know, oh well at least you can see me in the video you know, uh, dude, it looks like fucking ghost stories when I was a kid, you know, where they put the torch under their face and go oh no, no, the crap died behind her and something touched her on the back and all the girls like, oh, you know, the sort of shit that 10 and 12 year olds get up to and <laughs> and, and you know and then it was like that, and now, it's not even like that, it's just a guy whose face you can barely see at all. No light lighting up the back of the van, not even a bloody ghost story style light lighting up underneath his chin. Now he's just sitting there in the frickin' darkness. Not that I can talk about being in the dark, but now he's just sitting there in the darkness. <laughs> just ranting on that everybody should give him stuff, you know, and, and now it's got to the point where half the time he's he's either he's not even in the van he'll just be like <laughs> out in public somewhere in the fucking pitch black or he'll be on his laptop with the camera turned off he can't even have his camera turned on as he used to have for a lot of, you know, different joints and he got doxxed a couple of times or or whatever um, you know, and now, oh, sits me back, um, <laughs> you can't even turn the camera on at all. It's just, you know, and now we're down to the last hundred bucks, like, I remember the bullshit time where he was under the bridge. <clears throat> and he had all these fucking idiots come out and, and say, oh, oh, you know, I'll give you money for a fucking motel and this, uh, names that you've never even seen before getting around the, the bottom of YouTube coming out and saying, oh, oh, I'll give you fucking, you know, money for a hotel or this or that, blah, 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 you know, because, you, no, it was under the bridge, you know, and the other one, that time where <laughs> a 
course he wasn't actually under the dam bridge. The other one where he couldn't get the bloody uh, van to start. And he left us hanging for like a week. During that week, he's out with Narsay going to all these different freaking restaurants and Narsay's paying for them. You know. But this time, I think we're getting closer to the point where, uh, you know, he really is up shit creek. And uh, there's still these stupid fucks, oh, oh, you know, help out your king, fucking be, 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 be. You know, at one point he had what I believe to be one of his nieces who covered a face uh, when, you know, he was videoing his family at Thanksgiving time. Um, but, you know, he's a gorgeous fucking girl. Um, but, you know, I said something to her and uh, she went running like uh, like most nice girls that I say stuff to. <laughs> and, uh, you know, <clears throat> I don't know if it's her under fake accounts or these other fucking dribbling idiots that are trying to, you know, oh, oh I'll give some money to him, blah, 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 because, of course, she didn't have any real money of her own but would encourage people to give to him. And, and now you've got other people doing the same thing. And you sort of wonder if it isn't, you know, just her with another account, uh, or multiple accounts. Um, but, you know, sheep wandering in here. Ram looks. <laughs> it's your little horns. Um, yeah. But this is one of these things that it's like, um, you know, you still got these ferrets giving him like 15 bucks or whatever, and, and oh, you know, here you go, and oh, he, here you go, you know, and, and, and bang. And then the dickheads kept going for another little while longer, you know, because he's got in, in the past fucking day or so another 30 bucks, and just think, fucking hell, let him burn, you know. Makes a hangout saying he's got only $100 left in his account. Um, and there's something about the king's scepter, scepter, fucking rah rah. Of course, that only exists while he's live and then it's deleted. I was shocked at how many, you know, like, I see all these fucking parodies of these hangouts and shit, where they've, you know, got these voice from some of these hangouts, and I'm like, I never saw that one, I never saw that. Because they go up. They're live. If you don't go on while he's live, see, I don't tap the bell to get notifications because I'm fucking... I've got, <laughs> I've got a job to do and real things to do, you know. So, by chance I'll come on when he's live sometimes, and, and lo and behold, you know, that's there's quite a number of these hangouts that just, they go up, and they, as soon as he's entered the live stream, it's deleted within fucking ten seconds later, you know. And, uh, yeah, he came out with the elongated skull bullshit all over again. <laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous, though. I mean, how long are you going to go on a hundred bucks? Even with people giving you a dollar here, dollar there, you know. Like, I'm hoping this is the end. And, I mean, we all heard that. Like, it's always a rhetorical fucking statement. Oh, this is the end now. Oh, the clock's ticking now. Yeah, six months ago the clock was ticking. You never know, you know. You really don't know, but I got a feeling now when you you're groveling down your last hundred dollars, like this is one of these times where you either got to pick up a job within fucking days, or you're fucked. You know how long can a hundred dollars go for? I know a hundred US dollars is worth about fucking hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty Australian, but <clears throat> we can't do shit with that. Not over here. You know, like, fuck me. I'd go, you know, that'd, that'd be fucking... that would be fucking lunch for a week over here. You know, like, you know... I must admit, though, some of these... Uh, <coughs> takeaway places aren't as cheap as, as what he would get, you know, food from Walmart for, but... 100 bucks is still only 100 bucks. Like, you can spend 100 bucks over here and have nothing to fucking show for it. <laughs> and, um, yeah... I really don't think it's... I know it's always rhetorically said that this is, you know, the end's getting there, but I think in this case the end is in fact actually really creeping closer. And I hope he has a van breakdown and it gets fucking towed and impounded. And I hope no one, no one, including you, Rosie, bails him out. Not even the scamming Jew. And 
you know. It's like the scam and Jews said, straight to Rosie, he has to learn the hard way. Well, let's cut him off financially and fucking see. This sort of shit doesn't happen in Australia, or in England for that matter. In fact, it's part of the cultures, I believe, of England just as much as it is of here in Australia, but I definitely know how it is here in Australia. Where if you have people asking for money, <clears throat> it's just like, fuck off. Like, nobody asks for donations and nobody fucking gives them. You know, and it's just, like, oh, I need to be this and that. And, this. and every time someone does, it's like, oh, this is another drug o cunt. You know, that's the attitude taken, you know? It's the only cunts that ask for money the fucking meth heads. And they used to be heroin addicts. You know, sitting in front of the same station, oh, oh, mate, you got another dollar or two so I can get a train ticket? And you look at the cunt's eyes and it's like, fuck, mate, it's like, like looking at the goddamn fucking... <sighs> They had less life than a set of fucking marbles. You know, their eyes are just fucking... You've all seen that shit. <coughs> yeah, and, and over here you just... You don't give money. It's get off your ass and get a fucking job. Like, you know, I've seen things where even charities, you know, stupid fucking shit that the supervisor at a certain place I worked out one us to get into because, oh, you know, I can understand this, you, 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 you. oh, this guy's having trouble getting a job. And the fucking, one of the guys there, he's a welder, goes, well, mate, why don't you give him a job? Oh, I oh, know it's not that simple. No, no, it is that damn simple. You can get people jobs because you've done it before. You get this guy a job. Oh, no, no, he's, he's having trouble before, he hasn't found work for, Bop. The amount of years and the guy's age was pretty much the same time he fucking left school. In other words, it kind of never worked in his life. And they're trying to paint him out to be a nice little family. And, and you know, oh, you know, well, the mother enjoys cooking. And I said to the fucking, I was next to the spray painter, and I go to the spray painter, lean over. And uh, I said to him, I bet you she enjoys cooking heroin on a spoon. <laughs> you know, fucking bullshit. You know. And we don't fall to that, whereas Americans, oh, let's help this guy. This, uh, Americans are just like fucking, they hand over money so easily to these fucking useless saps. We're here, it's just like, you're a useless sap, get a job you can. Or, oh, here we go, another fucking drug o cunt. You know, and it's really like, even people on welfare, like they had a guy who was on the radio and, um, well, the two DJs brought him in, and they had a, a different segment every week. They'd have somebody who'd come in with a different job. And this guy said, well, well, I'm on welfare, and, you know, and I intend to stay on it, and blah, blah. And then the dumb fucking idiot, how fucking dumb can you be, says, oh, for, you know how you got to pay me for this segment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, oh, could you do a cash in hand under the table? Oh, dude, you're live on the fucking air, you dumb cunt. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and the dumb cunt was saying that you know he's uh, he doesn't need to work, and they asked him, oh, do you want to hang around because we've got a couple of people on the line who would like to give you a job? Oh no no no, I've got to get back in and and uh, and play fucking PlayStation or Xbox or something. He said he got a new game for it, and oh no no, I can't hang around because I've got to play it. And and then he sort of stopped mid sentence, and they said, do you say? What we're going to say, oh no, 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 I didn't say that. No, you said you needed to go and play Xbox versus hang around and talk to a couple of guys. We've got three guys on the line, three different guys willing to give you a fucking job. No, not interested. And the amount of calls that come in, chastisizing the fuck out of this guy. I mean, there were cunts who are just about ready to wait at the front door of the radio station to punch him in the fucking face and break his nose. Like, this is like. And this is what they're showing to people who are picking up welfare and don't want a job because they couldn't be bothered because they're, they're bums. It's easier not to have a job. People get on the radio and they're ready to punch this guy in the face. Not for e-begging, not for scamming, but simply for taking in welfare and stating that he doesn't ever want to have a job. Yeah. You should have heard the fucking calls.
And it's not the first time I've heard a segment like that. Like, there's been other TV shows that are showing people who <coughs> surf, and they say, oh, I've got a maid because I, I'm on welfare and spend most of my day surfing. Then they've brought in single mum with three kids who works 50 hours a week or something like this, which you don't find many of those these days, but, you know, there's... This was show, uh, this one was back in the 90s they showed this. And she come right on the beach and she's fucking tearing shreds off this cunt. You know, the way she's talking sort of thing, you, you know. You're a lazy bastard and I'm trying to provide her. My taxes are going for lazy cunts like you to fucking be surfing all day. <laughs> we don't put up with this shit here, you know. But anyway... I think there is one of his uh, mods has got a fucking, uh, one of the guys with a wrench is, is an Aussie. There's a dead giveaway way to tell if someone's an Aussie. It's a fucking absolute clanger. And, and Aussies don't realise they do it, but I do. Um, and I think this, uh, there's probably some idiot that's, there's a couple of them who, uh, <sighs> You know, get around uh, because they uh, like trannies, but they don't fucking, you know, they don't really exactly go making videos stating they like trannies, but you know, I've seen a couple fucking, I think it was in Amanda May's fucking hangouts and stuff, you know, and you just think, mm. yeah. There's some Aussies that you know. On the bottom of YouTube, and there's some others just creeping around the fucking sides. Like in general, with the bottom of YouTube, you know. There's some who ain't as uh, <laughs> publicly visible as I may or may not be on the subjects of the bottom of YouTube. But anyway, Just a few little thoughts on the decline of the man in the van.